know you guys can talk specifically about stats or anything from scrimmages, but how do you think the team looks and you know, what do you think heading into the opener on Wednesday? I think we're in a good place. Um, you know, everywhere else in the country, I don't think any coach or any player would feel like they're exactly where they want to be at this point. Um, but definitely we, we're in a good place. You know, a lot of good things happen in the scrimmage and a lot of things um, that we need to learn from, um, especially on the defensive end of the, of the floor. You know, offensively, it really has never been a question for us. But defensively, if we want to be as good as we could be, we definitely need to make improvement. And obviously, it's early, um, but we we must improve quick. How much does uh, Kamari help with the defense? He's he's great. He's uh, not only he, you know, does the physical part of it. You know, he 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 can move. He can guard one through five, really. But also he he does a lot of talking, and uh, when you talk a lot, you make everybody else involved. And if you're not talking, then um, you know you you really be exposed because you know guys are talking around you. And really, if we want to be a good defensive team, we we need to talk. And I think he's he's de- he's exactly what we needed. You know, um, he he brings something to the table that not a lot of p- players do. He he doesn't. He doesn't care if you run a one play or a thousand plays for him. He just he just wants to be out there and compete and play, and uh, help help the team win. And what are the differences you've seen in Elon? Obviously, we've seen the physical differences, but confidence wise and, and on the floor, what are you seeing from him? He's he's feeling good about himself, and we need him to 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 feel good about himself. He's he's seen now that he can move, and coaches and players are giving giving him compliments and. You know, he's seen that, that everything that he's done has, has been paying off. And, again, he, he, he still got, you know, a long way to go, just like we all do as a team. But where he is right now is, is right now is more the mental side. You know, all the physical exercises and all the physical activities, he, he already did them, and he, he got where he wanted to be, where, where we needed him to be. Now it's more, more mental getting in and watching mm-hmm. film, you know, admitting when he's when he's wrong, not blaming others. You know, that's what it's going to take for this team to take it to the next level. Do you guys have a special bond with both of you speaking Spanish? Do you speak Spanish amongst the two of you? Or? Yeah, we always speak Spanish, and it's he's he's funny because you know it's he'll be talking to me in Spanish and. Um, somebody else will come and talk to him, and he's so used to talking Spanish that he'll respond in Spanish, and yeah. everybody else will be like, "What?" <laughs> but he doesn't. He doesn't know. He doesn't even realize it. What does Coach L emphasize so far in offense? Offense, just truly, first off, you know, sprinting down the floor, thirty-second shot clock. So we gotta get to our offense, you know, faster. And when we get to to set our offense, we gotta move the ball. You know, we can't hold the ball. Try to make a play, use the ball screen. If there's nothing there, move it, let the other guy um, make a play, space out. Just basically playing ball, playing together, hit the open guy. And I think um, really, even though it's practice, I think comparing us to last year, and that's including myself, I think we're doing a, a very good job at getting to the paint. You know, the defense comes in and you kick it out for the open guy. And I think it's it's a it's a much easier way to get assists. It's a much easier way to get other guys involved and um, open looks. That's what we want. We want rhythm, open shots. How much of an adjustment is the shot clock? You guys obviously got the taste of it in the NIT, but for you now as it's becoming real, how much of an adjustment do you expect it's going to be? I truly don't don't think it'll affect us as much. Um, you know. We want to play fast. We want to play under control, but we want to play fast. And, um, you know, it'll probably affect the teams when they got to face a press and all of a sudden you have 20-some seconds in the clock rather than 30. Um, but as far as if there's no press, you know, I don't I don't think it really affects. I mean, it's, it's really five seconds. And I guess the difference will be that you could really afford to walk the ball down the floor more often, but I don't see any... Any difference? Angel, what have changes or differences have you seen on Sheldon uh, since the end of last season? What kind of player, kind of season do you expect out of him? 
you know, I don't I don't expect him to change anything about his game. Um, you know, he shot a great percentages and he took good shots. The only thing we always ask him to do is be more aggressive, and he's actually been doing that. Um, even though sometimes he's he's still gonna be a little unselfish, um, but trust me, coaches and 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 the players are, you know, being on him about just shoot the ball more. Doesn't necessarily mean, you know, go nuts and shoot whatever shot, but just just look to shoot more. I mean, who who wouldn't want to play for coaches and players that want you to shoot as many shots as you want? I think Tanya has always been a different type of leader. I think he's he's not very, very vocal, but his work ethic on the floor speaks for itself. And when you have a guy who's just willing to hit, take hits, and rebound and do the, the dirty job, really, you respect that type of that type of player. And um, you know, with all the improvement he's made, you know, before he used to be pretty limited on offense. Now he's he's doing a lot more, and you know when, like I said, when you play hard, but then also you make improvements. How could you not listen to a person like that? How could you, you know, not count what he's saying, not not listen to him, and actually, you know, respect it. Angel, when you see that there's a seat, you know, record numbers of ticket sales picked high in the ACC. You know, is there a different kind of sense of excitement going into the season for you guys? And- you're not under the radar, really, this time around. To tell you the truth, I think before everything happened, I already knew we we could be a very special team if we do what we're supposed to do. And, you know, when the ACC picked us fifth, if I'm not mistaken, it felt good, but honestly, I don't, I don't truly... Um, it doesn't mean a lot to me. Um, from them but what really meant a lot was the fans actually you know wanting to support our our program they're they're just as as excited as we are and that has always been you know a challenge for me and for the players and I assume even for the coaches to to get fans you know it's always great to play in front of fans and to know that we haven't played a game and they're already looking forward to us spending their money spending time on us it's it's a great thing, and we definitely can't um, can't let them down. We gotta we gotta have a good season, uh, so that other guys in the future can, you know, take advantage of that as well. Angel, you mentioned shooting percentage with Sheldon for yourself. What were some things that you've done, or like, or been working on <coughs> shot percentage, your selection, just more shot? I mean, how do you attribute, or what do you look back and see that you can be improved on the most? Yeah, I think for me last year, the problem was not getting in the gym. Um, I spent a lot of hours um, just getting in the gym, working on my game. It was more picking my spots, you know. It was more getting to the rim, getting the bigs to try to block my shot and just kick it out or dump it down for a dunk, you know, just making an easy place. Um, so really my, my adjustment has been watching film, and then um, – you know, actually doing it in practice, practicing good habits. I don't, I don't truly um, think about scoring anymore. I know the game, you know, because of our system, all the ball screens, and just the way we play. I know I'll be able to score naturally. That's that's just the way the game is gonna um, come to me. But that's the key. I gotta let the game come to me, and I gotta really just focus on my assist to turnover ratio and and. Um, that also helped me with shot selection. With all of those things that you mentioned, uh, have you seen, no, the season hasn't started yet, but have you seen signs of that uh, over the past few months? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I make sure that every, even though they always keep stats during practice, I always make sure that one of the GAs comes to me and tells me my assist to turnover ratio. I don't care how many points I score. Um, all I ask is for assist to turnover ratio. So we've been keeping track as far as that and again film um just watching my shots sometimes you know it 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 gets to the point where i pay attention to that to to the point where my teammates give me the ball and i won't shoot it 
so it's, it's it's been an adjustment but at this point right now i i'm i'm right where i want to be you know i'm just playing the game enjoying and getting my team involved so what stats have you what, what have you been what numbers have been coming up on your ratios there i i want i want to be three to one assist to turnover ratio um coach l and i um he, we met and he and he asked me how many assists i wanted to average i said i i want to get six and he said well, I want you to get seven. So I said, okay, seven then. So that that's the goal. And what will your role with the offense be? Just to run a team. You know, I, I, so there, there's not a specific thing I need to do besides just run a team. Run a team and take care of the ball. Angel, with the assist, obviously, it counts to your teammates. Who's been, like, the most improved offensive player or really uh, who, who, who have you seen? Without a doubt, Tanya. Um, you know, I. It's one thing to see it in practice. There's another thing to see it in an actual game. When we scrimmage, he showed a lot of good things, um, which keeps me positive. And I, you know, I'm truly, truly starting to to believe that people are not going to believe how much better he's gotten. Um, and after him, Davon. Devon has truly worked on his game a lot, and he's becoming craftier. He's getting to the rim. He's finishing at the rim, which, you know, when he was a freshman and even last year, he, he would struggle a little bit with, you know, given the fact that he's about 6'5 and athletic. He's finishing at a very, very high rate. And that right there, is two, those two guys are truly going to make a difference. He's going to make my life easier than and everybody else's. You know, I, I I haven't talked to him about it. I I, I don't know how it feels. I, I'm sure he does. You know, he's he's a guy that truly cares about the game, and he um, he's always been the type who doesn't tri doesn't really take anything for granted. So I'm I, I'm assuming he's on the same page as me. He's he's feeling a sense of urgency, and he knows that this is the last year he has to you know prove himself. Um, in areas that he probably hasn't done so.